Today I'd like to talk about micro exercise and it's something it's a term that I've coined myself and the reason I've coined it is because I have always realized that exercise was good for everything about my body my mental and physical health the problem is exercise for a lot of people means a lot of different things and for some people it's too intense and they just don't do it whereas I think micro exercise is the solution I've done a video here on 15 things that I do for my mental health and micro exercise is definitely one of those and really what it is it's something that I dreamed up as an idea to a solution to that problem that people consider exercise as being beyond them because it's too vigorous it's too ambitious and it's too demanding and for me micro exercise is what has saved me over the years now I have done marathons I've done all the extreme stuff marathons triathlons and long distance relatively long distance swims and cycles and those have benefited me, but the reality is you only do those a handful of times a year um, by their nature. Because they're extreme distances, extreme times, you're not going to do those every day and it wouldn't be beneficial to the, for you to do them every day. So what I think has saved me and kept me fit over the years are actually the millions of tiny little bits of exercise that I do. And this is why I think for you, it'll help you because everybody can do micro exercise. And what I'm talking about here is walking. So walking for 10 minutes a day even, and everybody can do that. Parking further away and walking that extra 10 minutes. Cycling for 20 minutes. Tiny bits of exercise. Swimming for five minutes. All those tiny bits of exercise are manageable for nearly everybody. And I, over the years, even after doing those long distance marathons and things like that, at the time I underprepared for the, for the marathon. And I used to beat myself up about it, but afterwards from talking to people who had non-stop injuries and some of whom had never been able to run again because they had such serious injuries after doing marathons, I actually kind of thought I had hit on something accidentally through my own laziness i had hit on something which was under exercising and what i mean by that is i think people are pushing their bodies way too hard and our bodies are not designed for that i think our bodies want to hit a sweet spot where they're being exercised a certain amount every day and no more than that so i'm talking about muscle workouts in the morning i do uh, press-ups, sit-ups and and squats and every morning when I wake up and I don't do hundreds of them but I do enough that I think it gets my body fired and going and I think you get a reward from that Excuse me. and I think you feel a reward from that you get a certain benefit and a reward from doing a small bit of exercise so even just walking up the stairs is incredibly... Somebody told me one day that walking up the stairs is step aerobics. And now that totally transformed the way I look at walking upstairs. To the extent which I think office buildings should get rid of lifts and just have stairs. But just uh, maybe have lifts just purely for people who absolutely need them. But otherwise encourage people to use the stairs. Because you're doing step aerobics just by walking upstairs. And... So there's a fitness exercise thing in every office block and that's there for people to use. So the small things, so if you go through your life, it's all about a mental attitude. If you go through your life looking for ways, I think sometimes people go to the ways to cut down in their exercise. They're always saying, where do I park that's closest to the door? Where do I, how do I arrange getting from A to B without having to walk as much? I think if you go through life with the attitude of the complete opposite, how do I design my day so I'm doing as much walking and exercise in around my day? And the beauty of that is if you build up in your exercise to your day where it's just part, an integral part of doing that something that you need to do, like cycling to work, it's not, it, you should never really have to go to a gym to get exercise because there's so much that's necessary in our daily lives that needs movement that we can use that some movement that we need to do anyway and make it benefit our health the most and that i think is micro exercise it's about walking it's about tiny bits of cycling tiny bits of swimming for five minutes which just totally jolts your body and makes you use all your muscles in a nice way that doesn't have any resistance to it and i suppose really 
walking is probably the number one piece of exercise. And if you're walking fast enough, so just about brisk enough, then your body is in aerobic state. And this is something that I got from Tony Robbins that really woke me up, that if your heart rate is above just a certain minimum level, say about 60% of its maximum heart rate, then you're in the aerobic zone where you're using oxygen and you're burning fat, and you're now in an area where the exercise is helping you. If you're walking too slowly, then you won't get the benefit from it. So just make sure your posture is right as well, so that your, your, your shoulders are back and you're walking pretty much directly straight down so you're not uh, you're not hunched over because that's not going to do your your posture much good make sure your shoulders are back make sure you have a straight line down your spine down to your down to your feet walking along briskly so that you're getting your heart rate up to a minimum level nothing big so a brisk walk or very light jog is probably the optimal so that is micro exercise which has helped me probably more than anything else in my entire life Try it out, tiny bits of walking, tiny bits of cycling, tiny bits of swimming. Let me know what you think in the comments if you've tried it and I'll see you next time.